Welcome, folks. I want to explain one other result that we'll need when we explain why Amazon's decryption method in the RSA crypto system works to recover your credit card number. So this is an important theorem in its own right, and it's called Fermat's theorem. So Fermat's theorem says that if P is prime, so two, three, five, seven, 11, et cetera, and X is any integer, then P divides evenly into x to the pth power minus x. Let me write this down below. So let's do some examples. You can prove this using modular arithmetic notation and, and ideas from group theory, but let's just do some examples. So let's take P to be five prime number. Okay, why don't I take X to be four? So let's compute four to the fifth power. Okay. So x to the pth power is four to the fifth power. Four to the fifth power is 1,024. And then I just subtract x, so I subtract four, and I get 1,020. And we can see that five divides into 1,020. Let's try that same P, but let's take X to the three. So X to the P minus X is three to the fifth minus three. Three to the fifth should be 81 times three. So 243. Okay, and five and D divides into 243 minus three which is 240. And this works for any prime. So let, let's do maybe P equals seven and X equals four. So as our final example, X to the P power minus X is four to the seventh power minus four, which is, so four to the seventh power is 16,384, we subtract four to get 16,380. Okay, wow, seven should divide into that. It's not at all clear to me that it does. Um, so well, let's check 16,380 divided by seven. It should be uh, an integer. And oh, 380, 16,380 divided by seven is 2,340. So Lagrange's theorem is a really important, um, or sorry, Fermat's theorem is a really important theorem in number theory. And you can phrase this using the language of modular arithmetic, but we'll use this in our verification that when Amazon uses the RSA algorithm to decrypt your secret message. They indeed, uh, that algorithm indeed works. Public questions? All right, thanks.